Good morning guys, happy Sunday and welcome to the vlog. Today is a very exciting day, we're going to a pantomime later, but first we're going to go head out for lunch. I've just been editing this morning as you can see, and yeah, I have just had a very chilled morning actually. I had a lovely cup of tea in bed, it was brilliant, and I've just been editing. My hair's kind of crazy from yesterday, but it's a lot calmer than it was, so I'm, um, I'm happy with it. Let me show you my outfit of the day and then we're going to head out to lunch. So it's pretty much all Jack Wills, are we surprised? This is Jack Wills, it's just like a wool jumper. It's really comfy, really warm. Then this skirt is also Jack Wills. I've got tights on and my docks. These were featured in a haul the other day. If you didn't see that, I'll link it down below. And I'll link it up in a card right now. And then this bag is Mulberry. It's my go-to. I've been using it so much. And then I'm just going to grab my trench coat, which is in here. And that is going to be the look. Perfect. And I should probably go down now or I'm going to get shouted at. So <laughs> let's go. We're going out for lunch, but I didn't have time to have breakfast, so I found Mm. In your bed. Cody. Bed. <laughs> hey! <laughs> he got you. He got to the other bed. See you later, Max. We'll That's so funny. Thanks. What song is that? I have no clue. I saw it on TikTok. Like when? Oh. Um, down to um, two sides, three words, for you, I oh, love yeah. you. Wow. The reindeer's got got talent. Guys, look at my dessert. I'm so glad with my decision. It's like this honeycomb. It's like honeycomb. Like what's this? Like foam. Yeah, it's mousse. Mm. We just got to my grandma's house and we're dropping off her Christmas present. It's going to be very lovely. I haven't seen her since her birthday. So, well, that was like a month ago. Oh, yeah. so not very long. But I'm excited to see her. This is this is how you ring the bell. <laughs> Stop. Guess who? Imagine <laughs> You guys look at me when I was younger. How old must I have been here? Like seven? Maybe? Yeah. Seven-ish? Seven Probably. Nine. Yeah, maybe. That would make sense. I was such a tomboy. Look how cute this is. Oh. Oh. Here are my boots <laughs> when I was younger. Hello my friends, we are back from my grandparents' houses. We went to both of their houses, didn't we? Yeah. It was really good. We were looking at old pictures at my grandma and my mom's mom. And then at my dad's parents' house, we were playing the piano. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to get, um, well, we're hoping if our parents let us, we're going to get our keyboard down that I can practice on. We're going to try for piano lessons for you, aren't we? Because Sophie already does singing and guitar. Yep. Um, so... I mean, I think she'd be brilliant at piano. And I wanted you to do piano, but they don't offer it at school, so it has been out of school. They, Mummy told me they don't. What, piano? Yeah, piano. They do. Are you sure? Yes, I have seen them do it. That's so weird then. Like, like, I've seen it because one of the boys in my class does it. Why is my phone on the floor under the Christmas tree? That's weird. Sophie, that's not weird. That's clearly you and you've not bothered to pick it up. That's weird. You've clearly dropped it and not bothered to pick it up. No. Do you want to show them your juicy couture hoodie? <gasps> yes! I know I said I was going to give it to one of my friends, but someone nicked it, so it's now... Hey, she it said it fit, fit, so I can have it then. It does fit and it you, does. and it looks gorgeous. And um, we have it in the same size, so it's going to last you forever. Isn't that brilliant? I'll get your phone in your eyes the, and put it under there. Thank you. The amount of times I've tried to buy her a juice control tracksuit, and my mum's been like, no, there's no point, there's no point, because she'll grow out of it so quickly. Um, but yeah, we're going to get ready. We're having a cup of tea. Oh, should we unbox what's in this bag here? We're going to have a cup of tea and we're going to then go to the panto. And I'm very excited because I love pantomimes. I love shows. I didn't actually get to see Stevie's panto this year. I'm gutted. He's in um, the uh, Hammersmith panto. And I'm just honestly gutted because I like I couldn't make it to press night. And then it's just been so busy. But I've seen all his posts and so it just looks brilliant. But yeah, let's unbox his bag. So I got this bag from Elizabeth Arden a while back. It's obviously Christmas themed, but I didn't actually unbox it, so I thought we would. Ooh! Firstly, we have <gasps> the Juicy Couture Christmas fragrances. <gasps> Juicy oh my goodness! So Juicy Couture are just my favourite scents, yep. so I'm very excited about that. I have like a few scents that I like absolutely adore. One of them are like the Juicy scents. I also love the Giorgio Armani C scents. I'm trying to think what else. So this is a funny one. 
So Fiat actually released a Fiat 500 perfume this year, which I just think is brilliant. And this is the yeah. gift version. Wait, Talia has a Fiat 500, doesn't she? She does. Should we give this to her tomorrow and see yeah, if she likes it? Yeah, good idea. Our cousin has a Fiat 500, doesn't she? Yeah. So I think we'll give this to her and see if she likes it. Let's have a look what else. Oh! Oh my god, this is massive. It's a candy cane! Is it an edible one? Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a Fortnum and Mason candy cane. No wonder Is it, an edible it looks. One? Yes, yes, yes. Can I have it? No wonder it looks so fabulous. Uh, we mm. can share it if you'd like. Maybe we could bake some cookies and we'll make some can. We'll put some candy cane icing on the top or something like that. We also have a Britney Spears perfume. I haven't actually smelled this. What's this? What's this called? Um, oh, it's a fragrance called Prerogative. And uh, so this is a guy's fragrance. This is the John Vavetos uh, Red Edition with Nick Jonas. This is a exclusively available at Harrods. And it says, for the man that appreciates finer things in life. Well, the finer things in life. This is cool. This is being, I'm giving this to someone. Can, yeah. can you guess who? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give this to someone for Christmas. And they're going to think it's really funny because they just are. We also have the My Fifth Ave perfume, and this is from Elizabeth Arden, and I'm excited to smell this, actually. I've never smelled an Elizabeth Arden perfume, so this is going to be, like, as in, like, an actual, you know, Elizabeth Arden own brand perfume. Can't wait to smell that. Mm. And finally, we have the Shawn Mendes perfume. <gasps> it's for women and men. This is Signature 2, and... Like, it's quite cute, actually. It's got his face on. If you love Shawn Mendes, this Let's is the see. perfume for you. Can I get a lift to the panto, please? Yes, sure. That, that would be childish. Jerry, go! 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 That's childish. That's rude. That you is, listen. No, that's usually that thing, by What did oh. you say? Drive up? Yes! So fake. That's to do it. How rude. Are you excited, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Are you going to be shouting and screaming? This is our view. We're uh, on the she's undressing. We're on the front row of the circle, and we are very excited for this. I haven't been to a pair time here for about two years. Haven't you? No. Really? And I haven't been. Yeah, I did come last year, and I haven't been to like a show here like other than the pair time in ages. Oh no, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my lighter thing. Have you? No. Oh, no, I haven't. What's he doing? He's We're at the drive through and he keeps driving off past the window on purpose. <laughs> yeah. And then put my yeah. window down and driving back. Yeah, you said, you said pull forward and he pulled too far forward and kept going. And then he had to go back and then he wouldn't stop. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Food. Food. I can't work out if having this Christmas tree in this room was a brilliant idea or a terrible idea because it is oops, massive and this was in my living room in my house and it's just this looks so funny like look how massive it looks my mum was like do you actually want this in here but like I kind of do and I kind of feel like it's making the whole room like I have some really super cute like memorabilia over here I'm filming the whole video on like doing this room up because obviously it's nowhere near done but this is my uh tree match campaign from L'Oreal and I look so little in this like this was so long ago this was the first ever thing I did with L'Oreal and it's still by far one of my favourite products that they, they have and they, they do and I just, this makes me so happy, I love it so much. It's funny because Sophie was going through my drawers earlier of things that I have here, right, and she was like, you have so much stuff here, Em. She was like, it all seems to be the same brand. <laughs> it's really funny because I have so much L'Oreal stuff here. I've got pretty much every single one of the detox masks, every single one of the sugar scrubs, just because they're like my go-to, I'm whispering because people are in bed. Um, they're like my go-to is what I, you know, what I use. And I have a hydrogenous as well. She was like, just so you know, I've been using it. I was like, thanks. Um, this is Brill. Is this the, I don't know which one this is. I've been using the normal dry skin because my skin's been pretty dry. But I've like, it's, I feel like my skin's kind of improving. I had like a spot here and a spot here and they're almost gone, which they've gone in like two days. That's ridiculous. I've been using my Neutrogena like light therapy pen been insane i've been testing that for like two weeks now if not a little bit longer and i'm really impressed like so so impressed i'll do like a roundup kind of 
thing when I've used it a bit more. I feel like two weeks isn't enough time to test it, but I will let you know because it's quite a revolutionary product because there's a third off at the minute and um, it's not like crazy expensive because it's like a one-time investment. You don't have to keep buying it and they just, they last, you just replace the batteries, which I think is really interesting. It's like a very interesting concept. But yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with it. I'm off to go and sit and plan my 2019, which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna make a PowerPoint just because why the heck not? I like to have like a plan set out in front of me, like with goals. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm a bit of like, you know, I'm a bit everywhere So I need I need a goal inside. So that is the plan for this evening That is what I'm gonna try and figure out like a, like goals for each month and then we'll kind of break it down It's somehow half past 12. We got back from the panto. It was really good It was Aladdin and it was just it was just great uh, Obviously, we went to McDonald's on the way home as you saw and Sophie and I were just chilling We were singing Beauty and the Beast for like hours, which is why my voice probably sounds like this and I've just been on Shein right now like I'm kind of tempted to do like a haul. I don't know I like really enjoy ordering from Shein, it's really interesting. But I'm also doing a um, PowerPoint, I'm like planning my 2019, which it's really nice. I've like finally got some time to sit down and do it. Next year I feel like is gonna be the year of like having more time, that is the plan. Just because I feel like I don't have time to do the things that like I love, if that makes sense, and like push myself to do the things that I've always wanted to do. So that is going to be what 2019 is all about. Like yeah that is the plan i've also been speaking to one of my friends tonight who's gonna help me with some really cool filming in january which i'm so excited about so planning that and it's just all falling into place and it's so so exciting um but obviously it's christmas eve eve it's really hot in here i need to open a window but i'm gonna head off to sleep and tomorrow is christmas eve i've got an amazing meal for my family my little sister is buzzing but i'm up at seven because mom and i are going to do the last minute food shop and get bits and bobs it's always like the tradition that mom and i do like the food shopping if you haven't already kind of like learnt this about me i'm like very domesticated i was always that one in my family that would be helping my mom in the kitchen and all things like that that's just me as a person and i am very happy about that it made moving out very easy so because i obviously i moved out at 17 and it was like totally fine uh but yeah i am gonna head off to sleep i really do hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have please give it a massive thumbs up tomorrow's the last one i might film christmas we'll see or maybe i might save that for my 2018 video but yeah, maybe tomorrow might be the last one. But if you've enjoyed Vlogmas, please give this a massive thumbs up. And don't forget uh, to check out my What I Got For Christmas video on Christmas Day on my main channel. Because there is going to be a massive giveaway in that. And I'm not going to put it in the title or anything. So it's just going to be, if you happen to come across the video, then you're more than welcome to enter the giveaway. So I thought I'd give you a little, you know, a little heads up. I'll let you know in tomorrow's vlog as well. As well. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the morning. Good night.